ready for game one of the American League Division Series between the Indians and the Red Sox. Let's get down to business. We know what you're going to say. <laughs> I'm going to say, I, I think the Indians actually match up better than people think. I think the rotations are even. Indians have an advantage in the bullpen. Boston has the advantage in the lineup, but these are two good offenses, so uh, nothing would surprise me. I'm gonna, I'll hold off on my prediction. Yeah. What do you say? You know, well, <laughs> I think everybody knows what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna take Boston in five games. I think it's gonna be a, a you know, competitive series. I just can't see the Indians overcoming, losing two key starters uh, against, well, really you know, Porcello and and uh, David Price, and they roll those two guys out there in games one and two, and I think it's going to be really difficult for them to overcome that. I think so too. I, I think this would be tougher if it was a seven-game series because I don't know how they would patch together seven starts. But they've been playing this way for a month, and they had a good month. September and October, they were eighteen and eleven, so they figured out some formula that works. And the bullpen is certainly the key to this team if they're going to win. Um, and all of that said, it's, it's almost like my head's telling me to pick the Indians in an upset, but I'm going to go Boston in four games, so I'm actually You're going four I'm games? actually okay. being more critical than you here. Um, the lineup is tough. Fenway Park it seems like it might be a nightmare, and the Red Sox seem like the better team. But again, and this isn't just to hedge my bets, the Indians could win this series. Five-game series are coin flips. They could. They could, uh, but you've got to get a good start on Bob. And he's got to come back and, and pitch again in, in game four. And he's got, to, he's got to be solid. You've got to get a surprise. Somebody has to do something unexpected. They've got to win a game late, like a walk-off, like they've done here. This is the perfect setting for them to do it. 11 walk-off wins during the season. They play great at home. You know, they've, got to, they've got to at least split here. They, they can't, if they go to Boston down 0-2, it's over. All right. Well, they've been a resilient team all year. We'll see if that continues for at least this series. He's Paul Hoynes. I'm Zach Meisel. Thanks for watching on Cleveland.com.